Hi there, welcome to Microsoft Azure Backup and Site Recovery Planning Services. So when it comes to either backup or site recovery or disaster recovery, when we call or backing up a few of the files or folders or even virtual machines from your on-premises or from Azure to Azure, you can do all these things uh, when you go with either as your backup or site recovery options so both of these options will be there under recovery service vault so if you just search for site recovery so you would be you know getting uh, something called recovery services vault so this is where it will be available and as a first step what you have to do is you have to create your service vault so why we call as a vault is it's going to actually store all the backup information within that vault that's why we call as the vault so here uh, if you look at uh, I have already created in fact we are gonna uh, talk about how to create all these in the upcoming lectures but basically you know when you try to create you would actually get either you want to take the backup or you want to go for maybe a site recovery so if you see here you would actually go and follow a wizard something called either backup this is just for the backup so you can choose here a backup of your virtual machines or SAP or SQL VMs or even file the file services from your on-premises also so for doing that it actually needs to execute some kind of exe files on uh, that's nothing but agent you take it as an agent that needs to be triggered on the a destination of your virtual machine or maybe a, a file server and then you need to you know, configure what to be uh, taken as a backup so it's very similar like um, you, you do with any of the backup software uh, but the only difference is it actually works over the internet and everything gets backed up to this specific vault and also you can save these uh, recovery keys all that also within this uh, vault I mean you can actually associate even uh, site vault that's the uh, azure key vault services also can be uh, integrated uh, so that your backup actually goes for the level of securing and when it comes to the site recovery this is uh, three basic steps the first thing is like you can actually back up your virtual machines and other one would be let's say you have your on-premises machines that needs to be backed up yes you can do that by installing a software a backup related agent software or the vault specific service uh, which is the recovery services agent to be installed so that the same scenario is nothing but a vmware also so you would be actually preparing in a three different steps one would be the preparing infrastructure is nothing but you are actually installing a software on your ESX uh, host so that it actually uh, pulls all that information uh, how many VMs you have all that network information uh, including and then you can actually go for uh, replicating that entire infrastructure to your site and also you can choose for the replication policies when to recover and what are the recovery policies you want to configure so that the frequency and the number of days you should actually store all that information comes under the recovery plan so similar things actually you can do even for your Hyper-V virtual machine so uh, if at all you have a Hyper-V infrastructure you can also migrate as it is um, and also you can go for a site failover uh, you can do that because site recovery is nothing but you actually do the failover uh, with your services let's say you have uh, a machine that needs to be uh, replicated and once it is replicated you want to uh, take that item so let's say you have on-premises this uh, Hyper-V server is available and that has one of the virtual machine and you want to know failover you can fail over that. when I say failover you are actually testing or maybe it, some disaster happened and you want that specific virtual machines to be run directly from Azure so for that definitely you need to have your virtual uh, networking because the networking is a key we need to be you know configured and also the data should be available on immediate basis that's nothing but it actually comes from your storage account so in this case if you want to you know, go for failover you can do the failover and you can even test the failover case and you can configure uh, the settings that when to be failover or when not to be failover let's say if I try to failover uh, my actual uh, physical machine has uh, here uh, this is my VM which is coming from my 
on-premises VM. Hub. So what I can do is actually I can configure here a specific size, similar size of uh, hardware specs that needs to be you know, pulled up directly from Microsoft Azure. So I can configure here a specific things and also the VNet. So within this VNet, so the similar IP configuration, it should be available because it's going to be disaster. So disaster recovery. So your client shouldn't face any kind of connectivity problems. So you need to you know, configure that specific information so that you can when you fail over it's gonna connect it so this is about the failover and the recovery specific point and you do have here the backup policies as we talked earlier so you can take the backup retention policies and when to take the backup daily or or when all that uh, we're going to you know, talk in the upcoming lectures and then uh, we will also have a look on asr and the how to take the backup so backup taking is easy like uh, you should you know just go and configure here the backup and the policy you can choose and simply add the virtual machines you wanted to take the backup let's say i want to take this as a backup so i can simply click ok that's going to validate and then click OK so that uh, it's going to you know, take the backup of that virtual machine and with this policy. So the policy is it's going to return uh, for two recovery snapshots for two days and it's going to take the backup every 10 30 uh, p.m. for 30 days. After that it's going to delete it. Right. So these are the policies that you can you know configure and then you can enable it. So we're going to deep dive on that part but remember what is very important for the site recovery or backup planning is your networking your storage account and then the infrastructure that you have to prepare so when i was talking about the infrastructure you need to know, think about whether we are talking about a backup or a site recovery. both should be different right because a backup is something you actually uh, take and then you know restore it site recovery is something like it comes to into a key a role when something disaster happens or maybe you want to fail over for some kind of complaints level or for your annual activities then the site recovery comes into the picture and uh, uh, for each of them actually you have a different planning should be done let's say if you try to configure for VMware that's a different actually planning so but the similar steps you need to you know follow which we are going to discuss in the upcoming lecture which we do it for the Hyper-V the similar steps almost we will be doing for VMware also and post to that once the infrastructure is ready so when we say infrastructure this is the infrastructure site recovery infrastructure is this and for the site recovery again as we talked earlier the networking is key and also you can do for VMware and physical machines, which is almost the same same type configuration. And if at all you have already System Center Virtual Machine Manager, uh, that makes it very easy for you because the uh, SVVM uh, has that the System Center Virtual Machine Manager uh, will have all that VM specific information because that's actually not just a backup; it also uh, takes that entire inventory information and then you can actually map it here and you can do that specific SVVM specific networking also can be mapped let's say you try to migrate one VM so it should also have similar networking concept or networking IP links should be available so that your end users can connect to that virtual machine and similar things for your Hyper-V so for the Hyper-V what we do is actually we call it one one thing called Hyper-V sites and Hyper-V host. So when we call a site, let's say you are actually migrating uh, all the Hyper-V hosts uh, from maybe California site or maybe from a Redmond site. So what happens is in that location, whatever the Hyper-V servers are there, that all you're actually grouping as a site so that you know that actually uh, yes, all the Hyper-V hosts which are coming from California uh, goes to California region. So like that you can actually give a name. So for example, use California here, Hyper-V server. So what are the hosts are coming? So that R can be a part of this group. So in my case, I have only one here and that can be a part of here, part of this group. So don't worry about all these, you know, how to do the configuration, which I'm going to do it in the next uh, demo actually. But this is going to be a kind of an you know, idea so that you know you know uh, how this 
backup or site recovery would actually work so that you will get a little bit of familiarity and then we jump into the deep life of this concepts i hope this entire lecture is useful for you uh, thank you for watching this i'll catch you in the next lecture